J-Hope was seen rushing out of the airport and what did people have to say about that? People were talking about a kissing comment that people believe would encourage sasangs and then we finally have confirmation when the company recently posted pics. So hey dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, hey spilling mug merch and let's go. For the past few weeks or so, K-media fandoms and of course the members themselves have been hinting at this collaboration between the famous and both iconic members Jimin and Taeyang of Big Bang. I only introduce Taeyang as Taeyang of Big Bang because this is a predominant BTS page, so some people might not be aware of the previous generation of artists. Taeyang and Jimin were always talked about since the beginning of BTS's career as two people that should make music together. They both are extremely talented dancers and amazing singers, both the Jimin and Taeyang are great with high notes and vocals, while well, I think BTS members are absolutely amazing and my favorite group, obviously. The members of Big Bang were seen in that way at their height and that way to BTS members too. So in my personal opinion, in terms of talent, they're both definitely similar. This is what made some people really want to see the two work together. For the past week or so, we did not receive any official announcements other than rumors, and then we saw Jimin allegedly going into the YG building, and then we saw a studio photo of the back of Jimin head posted to Taeyang's Instagram. Taeyang received so many hate comments after posting the studio photo and many people claiming that Jimin is going to be the one to save Taeyang's career. And what I want the fandom to know is that Jimin is not thinking that. Jimin is not like, oh, let me help this irrelevant artist. He is thinking that the two can make good music. This is completely fan-made thought. Real artists and most artists do not care about the number. The fans do. Artists just want to make a little bit of money or enough money doing what they love to support themselves. And let's be real here, Big Bang at the height of their career have made so much money that if they invested all of it correctly, they would never have to work another day in their life. Google claims that Tang's net worth is 20 million. If all of that goes into real estate or the stock market, he can use 7% of 20 million every year without ever touching the initial 20 million because the stock market is predicted to grow 7-10% to every year. It wouldn't be Tang trying to quote unquote revive his career, it's him doing music because he wants to. I want to make that very clear. None of these celebrities ever have to work ever again or need revival of a career. They will never be poor or need money. I think people have been very disrespectful to Taeyang and this is going to discourage any of the members from wanting to work with any other artists in the future. Taeyang finally posted a photo where it officially showed Jimin and Taeyang together and the photo showed when the music video will be released. The song is called Vibe and it will be released on the 13th. Of course, I am scared of the reception because Jimin can see the comments. He is going to look at them and think, wow, these comments are so mean. And then maybe be scared that another person he may care about is going to be hurt by these comments if they collab. For example, probably one of the reasons BTS has not worked with Blackpink yet. The most obvious collab, right? I love seeing them do all this stuff and I can't wait for this song. I am loving how long J-Hope's promotion has been. He's been doing a lot and he started first and he's still going places and performing. He recently did the Rockin' Eve, which I want to talk about more later, but people were definitely talking about when he landed in JFK. It was believed he landed specifically for this show and he landed a few days early for rehearsal. There's been a lot of controversy around what is the appropriate behavior for greeting BTS members at the airport. There was a moment where I believe j -Hope had recorded something when he landed in Japan. I remember this vaguely but I can't seem to find it so take it with a grain of salt but I know I've read comments about it so I know some of you remember it too. But I believe it was Japan and j -Hope landed and recorded armies literally lined up sitting there and waiting for him. This was praised because if you're going to go over there to meet him, then you definitely should not be endangering him and perhaps sitting there and waiting for him would be best as all of you would then be able to get a clear shot of the idol and then the idol can see your face and possibly even feel safe at stopping and saying hi. There's a bit of controversy when artists will come out and greet their supporters but then stay for like three seconds. People tend to find it rude as people are traveling miles away and the artist stays for a few seconds. Well, there's a few perspectives here. One, no one told you to travel out that far to see an idol at the airport. And two, there is no guarantee you will even see your artist if they go and they have no formal obligation to come out and greet you, especially if the members feel like it's too dangerous for them to go out because either the crowd is too rowdy or there's too many people and if the idol were to come out anyway, then people would mob them and that's an Itaewon type situation. When J-Hope landed at JFK, he pretty much didn't stop. He walked through the crowd, did a bit of a dance, waved and did not stop. He clearly felt like it was safe enough for him to appear 
here but was not safe enough to stop and like shake hands with people and take photos and that sort of thing. Sometimes you'll see a lot more upcoming idols or trainees that are somewhat well known. They'll stop and greet fans individually but BTS members cannot do that. And they have to keep it moving and not just for their safety but for your own. People were concerned if J-Hope was actually safe and okay. There was an incident a little while ago where J-Hope was at the airport and he came out and I think he forgot a suitcase or something. He kind of ran around the little area looking for it and then ran back into the gate or whatever to find it and he eventually found it. But when the footage of this came out, people were outraged that someone else didn't go and get it for him because I guess they feel like it would be unsafe for J-Hope to walk around without his manager and that his manager should have gone back to find his suitcase. But this is silly. J-Hope can get his own suitcase and he doesn't need to be babied in that way. And is it dangerous for him to walk around without security? Yes, but he is at an airport. Like I know this is after the security check and all that, but there's airport security and there's dogs there. So no one would have been able to charge at J-Hope without someone stopping them. And then if someone, God forbid, had a gun or whatever, a security guard or manager, unfortunately, wouldn't be able to do much anyway. So yeah, J-Hope is fine there. But of course, there is a lot of anxiety about him at the airport. And people feel like he has to rush or quickly leave the airport as fast as possible when he is there, which could be true. J-Hope absolutely ate that New Year's performance and he did such a great job. I honestly can't believe how fun it was. And for the past few days, we have been talking about some of the cute, funny moments that have happened and things J-Hope talked about. Something that went viral was something that Liza Koshy said during the show. Liza, if you are unaware, is a very funny comedian and former YouTuber or Viner. So comedians are known to push the boundaries of things and she has officially moved over to become this comedian or host now. When she was doing an interview or talking with J-Hope, the way she transitioned to address J-Hope, she said, and speaking of someone everyone wants to kiss, it seemed like most people were happy or laughing about it as it's obviously true, no lie there. But what ended up going viral wasn't even that Liza said this, but that J-Hope apparently made a face when he heard kiss and his name. Although I don't think he made a face specifically over those two words, I think he actually does understand quite a bit of English now. He has been taking a lot of English lessons lately. We can see that in the reality show In The Soup. If you want to catch up on these fun moments with me, we react to those on Patreon, so I will link that in the description. And there's a $1 tier that is still open, so I hope to see you there. But anywho, regardless of why J-Hope made that face, the reaction to people kissing J-Hope was so funny to everyone. People were saying that J-Hope did not want to get into a scandal and was like, no kissing. Of course, while this was funny, there were definitely people upset, which is probably why he would have made that face. Knowing that the word J-Hope in kiss is controversial within K-pop, some people were asking why Liza would say that, as this would encourage and give Sasangs or stalkers ideas on what to do. And since this was live, some feared that a stalker would have jumped and forcibly kissed J-Hope. And while that is definitely an interesting concern, I think this is unlikely. And instead of being upset about whatever Liza would say, I would be more upset about the fact that people like this exist within the fandom. People who would just invade J-Hope's personal space and kiss him. Also, this is really a problem when comedians and hosts can't even make a cute and funny joke that is just a funny joke without it being an issue. And perpetuating this idea where we say these comments and get mad in fear of what these crazy stalkers would do, it's not a rule that other comedians need to be aware of and nothing you should constantly try to remind the comedians of. Because the comedians' lives do not revolve around the many, many rules that the fandom has made up about their K-pop idol. When I first got into K-pop, I couldn't even believe how many rules the fandom just made up. And if you don't know these rules, they shun you or send you death threats. Like, all right. BTS is far past just the K-pop audience now. We can make kissy jokes and it not be a problem. Let me know what you think and make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks to this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.